as of now we have configured gmail api in google cloud platform to access or to work with gmail api we need authorization code and access code we can generate authorization code and access code by using google developers that is https developers.google.com slash what playground let me go for the browser i'm going to give the url https developers.google.com slash what playground and then click on enter there you can see as a first step to generate the authorization code we need to provide this scope for the api and we need to select the authorized apis over here i'm going to give the uh, input for the scope that is https mail.google.com where i'm going to use this scope for the google api or gmail api before that over here if you see i'm going for the oauth 2.0 configuration settings click on that and there you can see i need to provide these details one is oauth flow i'm going to give it server side another one oauth endpoint i'm going to use google and after that if you see authorization endpoint this is https accounts.google.com slash o slash oauth with the version of v2 and i'm going to give authorization over here token endpoint that is https oauth 2.googleaps.com slash token this is the token endpoint where you are going to generate access token and then access token location this is authorization header or bearer fix bearer prefix that i'm going to use access type i'm going to give it as offline now force prompt that is consent screen in our previous session we have seen the consent screen for oauth right now i'm going to use my own oauth credentials i'm going to select that and there you need to provide your oauth client id and oauth client secret id from where you will get it we will get it from our credentials over here all right now let me click on edit oauth client from the google cloud platform for the api and services which you have generated right now you can see over here i'm having client id but before that i need to add the uri because of you can see over here i'm going to return the data i need to give the redirect uri over here which one will give it that is developers.google.com slash what playground i'm going to copy this url and then i'm going to add the uri over here and i'm going to paste the same link and then i'm going to click on save now once again i'm going to re reset secret keys i'm going to click on reset to create client id and client secret key i have received right now right i'm going to copy the client id and then i'm going to provide over here in the oauth client id in the same way i'm going to give client secret let me copy this and then i'm going to provide oauth client secret and then i'm going to click on close now to get our authorization code we have already given our scope there you can see we are going to authorize the api by clicking on this button click on that once you click on authorize api it will goes for the oauth consent screen it will ask to choose an account to continue for the power automate desktop this is the one which we have given in our consent screen right now i'm going to give my user id over here by selecting learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com and then i'm going to click on continue and then if you see over here power automate desktop already have some access so make sure that you trust power automate desktop yes i want to continue this for the google account now you can see once the was consent screen has successfully completed you will get this authorized code what is this authorized code was 2.0 authorization code grant type or was code flow enables a client application to obtain authorized access to protected resources like web apis authorized code is a temporary code that the client will exchange for an access token an authorized code is typically a sequence of letters numbers or combination of both that validates a person identity approves a transaction or provides access to secure area
now we got our authorized code now i want to get my access code and refresh code how can i go ahead and get it there you can see i'm having exchange authorization code for tokens if i click on that i will get refresh token as well as access token what is this access token access tokens are the thing that application used to make api request on behalf of user the access token represents the authorization of a specific application to access specific parts of a user data access token doesn't have to be any particular format although there are different considerations for different options as far as the client application is concerned the access token is an up queue string and it will be take whatever the string is and use in http request the resource server will need to understand what the access token means and how to validate it but applications will never be concerned with understanding what an access token means is that and also if you see there is a refresh token also is available where client application can use a refresh token to refresh the access token that you can see over here the access token will be refreshed will be expired after a particular seconds that is if you are having a refresh token is credential artifact that lets a client application to get a new access token without having to ask user to log in again refresh tokens are very useful because they allow applications to get new access tokens without forcing users to log into the system repeatedly how can we go ahead and do that there you can see i'm having auto refresh token before expires if i'm going to select that it will automatically get the new access token to the particular time now if you see i got my authorization code i got my refresh token i got my access token now i need to go for the configuration request api right now what we will do whatever the authorization code and access token we have generated they are working as expected or not what we will do we will give the request url over here in a such a way to retrieve the emails from the particular user id so that i will give it the request url as https gmail.googleapis.com/gmail/v1/users/ i'm going to give the user id that is learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com and then i need to retrieve the messages from the particular uh, you know user id so i have given the user id now let's send the request now if you see we got all the data which are related to the messages like id and thread id and how many mails that i have in the particular user id i got all the emails by using oas 2.0 by using gmail api right as part of this session we have seen how to get the authorized code and how to retrieve access token as well as refresh token as part of this tutorial now by using this authorization code and access token we'll try to connect from power automate desktop to gmail to retrieve the emails and also we'll see how to send the emails by using gmail api